I'm going to show you how to automate the creation of these popular videos while adding a personal touch so they don't look automated. Before I show you how to build this for yourself, I wanted to briefly introduce myself. My name is Nick and I'm an AI automation consultant. I help businesses implement AI and automations to save time and money and ultimately scale their business. I believe that all small businesses deserve a chance to grow and scale as it can be tough getting a business off the ground. Through helping companies implement AI and automation, I've seen firsthand how this new era of technology can make a significant difference. And that's the purpose of this channel, which is to demonstrate these tools and systems and how to implement them for yourself. So before we get started, I want to let you know that I created a free community group on Facebook that helps business owners use AI and automation in their own companies. So I'll be posting free resources and helpful tips that won't be on my channel, such as a free guide that provides you with five AI automations tailored towards your business's challenges and bottlenecks, along with a step-by-step -step guide on how to implement them yourself. Not only that, but you can network with other like-minded individuals who are also using AI and automations in their business to save time and money. So you can find a link down below in the description for that. So there's a simple three-step process on creating these TikTok videos on automation, which can also be used for YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. So first we'll use ChatGPT to write our scripts. Second, we'll create bulk videos using Canva. Finally, we use a low code automation tool called make.com to schedule and post all these videos. And believe it or not, you can create up to a thousand TikTok videos in under 30 minutes. So let's dive into step one, which is writing your prompt. So I'll go ahead and go into this Google doc that I already created. And basically I'm just prompting GPT to help me create an Instagram and TikTok for just captivating reels. So basically I'll have it break down into different structures. So it'll one be consisting of a title. So as you can see down below, I have some examples and then below the title, we'll break it down into different segments. So A, B, and C. So A includes the prompt, B includes it's elaborating on the key elements and C it's highlighting a unique feature or focus. And then we just had in some prompt concepts and give it some examples. So all I did is copy and paste this into ChatGPT. So as you can see, all I did was just paste it right into here and it gave me this simple table down here. And what I do with this table now is I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this. And we'll go ahead and go into a Google Sheets. You can use any sort of um, CRM that you would like but basically I'm just putting this into my Google Sheets and as you can see, it just pasted into um, how I would like it. So the concept segments um, A through C. So now what we're going to do through this is we're gonna go ahead and click on file, download this, and we're gonna go ahead and download as a CSV. And then we're gonna go ahead and come into Canva. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and create a, um, a new document. So this is the one I already made. But let's go ahead and go back and let's go to create a design and let's just do TikTok photo mode, which is 1080 by 1920 pixels. So this also works with YouTube shorts and Instagram because those are the dimensions that it is used to run on. So let's go ahead and start off with the first thing. So I already uploaded some videos. So basically I'll have, um, so there's a simple video right here. So this is just some with a, um, with a video but let's go ahead and just see what this looks like. So simply just some fireworks. So let's go ahead and add some text, but first I want to remove the audio. So let's go ahead and just click on the top right and we'll just mute that. So there isn't any more audio anymore. So now what we want to do is you will have to have the pro version of Canva, but to actually get your document that, um, I just showed you from Google Sheets to actually input this into our Canva and actually make hundreds, thousands of videos. We're gonna go into apps and we're gonna go down to bulk create. So this right here is specifically a pro feature. So it's about $15 a month, so super cheap and very much worth it if you're going to be automating your content, which will save you hours on end. So let's go ahead and enter our data manually or we could also upload, it, upload our data. So we're just going to go ahead and upload our data and we'll find our recents and um, downloads and there it is. So let's click on this. And as you can see here, here is some of our data. So there's the concept and the three different segments that I previously listed out. So to actually enter this into our document, let's go ahead and create some text. So we'll add a few different text boxes. So I'll actually delete that one. 
we'll add a heading. So this will be where our first big concept is and we'll add a little body of text and then we're just gonna add a few more. But before we do that, I wanna add some effects. So let's just add a background to, you know, make it look um, a little more standing out and pop a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and bring the transparency down and we'll change the color. Let's go ahead and make that gray. So I think that looks pretty decent for the time being. And let's go ahead and do this with the smaller little headings so let's go ahead and go into effects once again. Let's change the background and the color. And let's also bring the transparency down. So maybe we can make that a little bit darker. So let's go to the color and, or we could just bring the transparency up a little bit. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and copy the rest of these. What I'm just doing is just copying and pasting this. So let's bring that down a little bit and bring that down there and let's make sure this is all aligned. So bring that up. Okay, so I think that looks pretty solid. So let's go ahead and actually connect the data to this. So let's go back to our text and the apps. Let's go to our ball create. So let's go ahead and just connect this. So simply once you already selected on the text, you'll just connect the data and you'll do the concept. Then we're just gonna do the same exact things for the next one. So connect data, connect it to segment A, and then the rest of these will be to B and then C. So let's go ahead and see what this will actually look like. So let's go ahead and generate these 10 designs. So I only made 10 for um, sake of this demo, but you can create 20, 30, 40, 50, hundreds, thousands, whatever you would like to do. But as you can see here, this is the example of the TikTok that I want to post. So it's basically just an AI generated travel guide for this first one. And then it breaks it down a little bit further. So imagine an AI creating a personalized travel guide for you. And it says include must see landmarks, hidden gems and local uh, cuisine recommendations. So let's go ahead and check out some of these other examples. So there's virtual fitness trainer, AI powered language tutor, smart home assistant, AI cooking guide, and let's go ahead and break this one down. So the AI powered financial advisor. So basically just telling your audience how to create an AI assistant, which is just acting as a financial advisor. So it's just saying visualize an AI powered financial advisor managing your finances. And then it speaks on that a little bit further. So as you can see here, there's some quotes, but we could always remove that later just from our prompting or just simply from um, removing the quotes ourselves. But let's go ahead and actually download this. So let's go ahead and share, click on download. As you can see here, it's MP4, which is what we want to convert that to onto TikTok and everything. So let's download all these pages and download these pages separately as files. So we'll just click download. Okay, so we just finished downloading all the MP4 versions of our TikToks. So all I did here was just put all these different models into my Dropbox, but you could also use Google Drive if you would like. So now what we're going to do is um, start off in make.com. So all you do is go ahead to go to make.com and click on uh, scenarios, create a new scenario. And um, as I've shown in previous videos, you'll start off with a trigger. And what we're going to be using as our uh, first trigger is a repeater. So we'll create a repeater and the initial value is just going to be one. And we'll set the repeats to five for just the time being. Actually, we'll just go ahead and change that to 10 because that's the amount of videos that we just created. So the repeats is just going to keep on going as many videos as you have or as many uh, numbers as you select. So we only have 10 videos, so we're just going to do 10 repeats and the steps will just be one step. So next, we're going to go ahead and add a Dropbox module. And basically, this is a download file. So basically, we're just going to connect our Dropbox. So what you do here is just click add and then you just go ahead and click on save and then it will prompt you to log into your account and then you'll be um, prompted with a screen like this. And what we're doing is just selecting a file and we chose our file as TikTok automation because that's the folder that I had it under, as you can see here, TikTok automation. And then you should see all of your um, files. So let's go ahead and retry this. So we'll just go ahead, take off the mapping, choose files, go to TikTok automation. And as you can see here, here's all my different um, MP4s. So let's go ahead and select one of them. But since we want this to run and not always, 
you know, choose the same videos every time it's going to upload, we're going to have to add a little, um, a little feature on this. So we'll click on mapping. We'll just go ahead and remove the number two and we'll just add a flow control repeater. So we'll just add that in there and we'll click okay. So let's go ahead and degree, delete Instagram and let's just run this and see what it looks like. So it's running up to two, three, four, and it should go all the way up until 10. And then we'll just go ahead and select on some of our outputs. So let's go ahead and look at the first one, which should be number one. As you can see here, it's right there. And let's go ahead and go to six. And as you can see here, here's the six um, file. So now we want to automatically upload these into our preferred platform. So make.com actually doesn't allow a feature to automatically upload into TikTok. So we're going to go ahead and just use Instagram. So we'll go ahead and create a real post. And then you'll choose the video URL and just choose data and the caption. It can be whatever you would like. You can even add a chat GPT module to, you know, create your captions for you. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So we'll just go ahead, click on open AI and we'll do create a chat completion. And we'll choose the 4.0 module and we'll add some messages. So we'll just choose system. So we'll say you're an expert social media captionist, if that's a word. Your job is to create captions for my video. And click OK. So you can prompt that even further. Just give it some more context and everything. But um, go ahead and choose some tokens. We'll do zero. And then basically um, for the captions, you should see um, once you actually run this. So we'll go ahead and run this module only. OK, so it came up with a caption and um, let me go ahead and refresh this. So we'll delete this module, pull up Instagram, create a real post. And here our caption is. So all you'll do is just go to open AI, go into the mapping and you'll choose the content. And then there's your caption right there. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then we're just going to put in our URL and just like that. So next up, we want this to schedule just on weekdays. So, so what you'll do here is below run once and next to the scheduling, you'll just choose the settings. And basically we just want it to run Monday through Friday. So all we did here is just select all those days and just excluding Saturday and Sunday. And you could even choose the times that you would like to post. So you could go ahead and do, you know, 1.30 if you would like or you could do 2.30, 3.30, anytime you prefer. So just like that, that's basically how you automate the entire process of uploading onto your platforms. So you could also do this with YouTube Shorts. So let's go ahead and pull up YouTube and we'll do upload a video. Actually, we'll do upload a short. Go to YouTube and choose upload. Okay, so I guess upload a video and upload a short is the same thing. So. Basically here, you'll just put in your title and here's the video categories, but it is whatever you would like. And you can enter a description and you'll just choose your files from Dropbox. Or maybe if you did Google Drive, then you choose it from Google Drive. And that's about it. It's so simple and will really allow you to save time throughout the day. So you could take some videos of yourself or some aesthetic videos, upload them to Canva, use AI to write your captions, and you can either manually upload them or automate the process to automatically post onto your profile, whatever your day you prefer. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then don't forget to join my free community on Facebook and subscribe for more content on AI automation, scaling businesses, and the latest trends in technology.